Hi, my name is Kate Hedberg and I'm an Applications Engineer at Go Engineer. And today I'm going to show you how to attach 3D models to your SolidWorks electrical manufacturer part. Once you attach a 3D model to a manufacturer part, it is very simple to use that model in your SolidWorks electrical 3D add-in. Here we have a Molex Minifit crimp style terminal connector. I'm going to start by inserting a connector symbol on a schematic sheet. I'm using the filters in the manufacturer part selection window to find the Molex crimp style terminal. I always start by removing any existing filters first. In this instance, I'm filtering by libraries because I made a demonstration library for this example. Double click on the part you want and click select at the bottom. The Component Properties dialog pops up. I'm going to click on the Manufacturer Parts and Circuits tab at the top of this window. Here's my Molex Manufacturer part listed. I'll hit OK to place the symbol on the page. You have several different options as far as placing connectors goes. I'm going to use the one symbol per pin option because it's the most appropriate option for this example. Now that we have a connector on our schematic sheet, we can see that there are two attributes showing up. X1 is the component mark, and 1A is the terminal mark. I'm going to right-click on the symbol and go to Symbol Properties inside of the In Context menu. When I go back to the Manufacturer Parts and Circuits tab, I can edit the manufacturer part. Just pre-select the part, and on the left-hand side of the window, click the Edit button. In the Manufacturer Part Properties for my Molex terminal, I could add all sorts of valuable information. But for now, I'm going to go down to the 3D Part box and click on the button on the right-hand side. This lets me browse to the file location for my 3D model. Once I select the model I want, click Open and the part is now attached to my Manufacturer Part. Click OK and a dialog pops up asking if I want to make this change to my library or just have this model for this individual component. I'm going to click the Update Catalog option because I want to reuse this model in the future. Now when we go into our SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D add-in inside of SOLIDWORKS CAD, we can see how easy it is to insert that model. Just open up your current electrical project in the pane on the right-hand side. The electrical manager now shows up on our left-hand side. Expand the main electrical closet to find the connector component. Just right-click on it and select Insert, and then place it into your assembly. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or want to know more, please reach out to us here at Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.